Hey guys, I'm Carrie with Two Wheeling Tots and today we are here to talk to you about bike pumps. Now, a bike pump is just a bike pump, right? Any old bike pump will do? Absolutely not. Whether you're looking for a bike pump for Schrader valve, for Presta valve, we tested 10 different floor stand bike pumps and we narrowed them down to our three favorites. Now we tried these with all sorts of wheel sizes down from 12 inches to full size adult bikes and which type of pump you get really does depend on what types of bikes that you need them for. So we are gonna cover all of that today, but first we're gonna give you a sneak peek on our three favorites that we narrowed it down to. And so here we go. Okay, so here are our three top picks. We're gonna go into why we like these much later, but first here's our sneak peek. So we have the Toe Peak Joe Blow Sport, which is our best overall. In the middle, we have our Lysine Steel Floor Drive Pump, which is best for Presta valves. And then over here, we have the Schwinn Air Center Plus, which is best for families on a budget. So now we're gonna go into what do you actually need to look for when you're trying to shop for a bike pump for your family and your bikes. So the number one thing that you need to know before you buy a bike pump is what type of valves your tires have. So they're either going to have a Schrader valve or a Presta valve. Schrader is much more common. Presta is usually found on higher end bikes, but they are not interchangeable with one another. So when you buy a bike pump, you need to make sure that the valve type on the bike pump matches the valve type on your tire. Now, usually almost every bike pump is gonna have both. So right here you can see there's two. This is Schrader and this is Presta. So just make sure that it either has both or it has one that corresponds to the type of valve that you need. Okay, number two, you need to know your wheel sizes. Now this is really more for families with young kids because the smaller the wheel, the harder it's gonna be to pump up that tire. So you'll notice here you have a head that has to fit on this valve. Now these heads can be pretty big and so to engage this lever to pump, it can be really hard if you have a small wheel to fit the head of that pump in there and then to engage it. So there are some pumps that have smaller heads that are better to use with 12 inch or 14 inch wheels. And we'll go over that as well in a minute. Number three, stability of the bike pump. So we prefer bike pumps that have three feet for added stability. Also, a lot of pumps are weighted on the bottom to help with stability as well. This is the Lysine and it's pretty stable versus this Bell pump, which is actually pretty popular just kind of falls over all the time and is honestly super annoying. Number four, tube length. So a longer tube gives you more flexibility when you're trying to attach it to the tire. Um, and it also allows you to actually stand up and pump your tire at the same time. Now, if you take a look at this, I'm gonna stand up. Look at the difference in height in these two tubes. This one, once again, quite popular. Another feature that's super annoying because you have to be very specific in how you place it on your wheel. This type of long tube just gives you a lot more flexibility. Number five, ball and bladder needles. So usually you wanna use your pump to be able to pump up your bike's tires, but also you can use them to pump up a basketball or a beach ball. So almost every pump will come with ball and bladder needles and they have different types of storage. This particular one we love because it goes right into the end of the pump's handle here, and it's not very likely to get lost. Um, storage comes in all different shapes and sizes. Some are better than others. Some you're immediately gonna lose those noodle, noodles, those needles. Other ones, they're just gonna stay right here and probably never get lost. And number six is tire pressure. So not every bike pump has a tire pressure gauge. So this Lysine does, whereas this Bell is an example of one that doesn't. Now that said, not every pressure gauge actually works well or even works at all. So that's something that you really need to consider. If you are a road biker, you're really gonna need to make sure that that bike pump can reach 120 PSI. If you have kids bikes, mountain bikes, um, really it just needs to be a bike pump that can reach 80 PSI. And now on to our three top picks for bike pumps. Each one of these top picks works with Schrader and Presta valves. And this is the first one. It's the Topeak Joe Blow 3 Sport. And this is our best all around pick. Now we love this because it just works well with a lot of different tires and bikes. Now a couple of things that make it unique are its valve pump head. And the interesting thing about this one is that you have Presta on one side and Schrader on the other. And then the way that you lock the lever is from side to side. So most bike pumps, like this Schwinn, you have to raise it like this, which makes it more difficult to get it into tighter spaces, like 12 inch wheels, versus the Toe Peak, because you don't have to lift it out this way, it goes from side to side, it actually makes it easier to fit into tight spaces. 
Now we also like this pump because it's really stable. As you can see, it only has two feet and I know we said we prefer three feet, but these two feet are really wide and the base is also weighted and so it's very stable. And for those who really wanna dial in an exact PSI, this was our favorite tire pressure gauge. So not only is it pretty accurate, but it also has a PSI marker where you can set exactly the PSI that you need so that as you're pumping your tire, it's really easy to tell when you're done. So our next pump is the Lysine Steel Floor Drive Pump. Now we especially love this pump for families that are mountain biking or road biking families that have Presta valves on their bikes. Now what makes this special is that it has that screw on head. So some bike pumps, you have the disadvantage when you have a Presta valve, that you can actually bend that Presta valve. But if you have a screw on head, that really protects that Presta valve from getting bent. So it's really important um, to protect those valves on your bike's tire. The other thing that it has is that it has a um, Presta valve core remover, which is really essential if you are running tubeless setup. And it also has a press, um, sorry, a pressure relief button right here on the head for you to be able to make really minute adjustments in tire pressure as you're pumping. Now, this is not just for Presta valve users because this red core or the red um, end of the pump can actually screw off and you just switch it over onto the other side and then it also becomes a Schrader valve. So even if you're a mountain biking family that has Presta valves on all your older kids bikes and adult bikes, but you have a small 12 inch bike or balance bike with a Schrader valve, you can still use this bike pump for both Schrader and Presta. So like any bike pump with a screw on head, it does take a little bit longer for you to attach it to the bike tire's valve. However, we really did love this longer tube as well as the three footed base that makes it really stable. So no bike pumps perfect. We think this is an exceptional option for, uh, for families that are gonna be using Presta valves quite often. The one thing we do wanna mention is that this is a, a longer barrel. And because of its longer barrel, we were not able to get this to get on a 12 inch pedal bike although we were able to use it with a 12 inch balance bike. Okay, so our last pump is the Schwinn Air Center Plus bike pump. And this is our favorite for families on a budget. Now, while it's certainly not as nice and doesn't boast as good as features as the other bike pumps we've shown you, for its price, it does a really great job. I'm gonna show you a couple things that we really like about it. Number one, its base, even though it's only two feet, is actually pretty stable. Uh, number two, it has really great enclosed needle storage. And then its um, air pressure gauge is easy to read and it's actually one of the most accurate that we tested. Even the more expensive bike pumps, this was ac more accurate than some of those. Um, another really cool feature is that on the um, head of the bike pump, it has a red and a green indicator to indicate whether that head is locked onto the valve or not. That's a really common problem even adults have is that you think that your, the head is locked on the valve and it's not. So this is especially helpful if you have kids it's because you just have that color indicator of green or red. So two drawbacks that we did find with this bike pump is number one, this tube is really short, which does make it more difficult to pump tires. And the second thing is that it's really hard to use at high pressures. So if you're trying to pump up road bikes, it's pretty much not gonna happen. But if you're a mountain biking and kid bike family, this bike pump will be just fine. Now, as far as 12 inch tires goes or 12 inch wheels goes, it did fit on the 12 inch wheels that we tried, but it was a pretty tight fit. Okay, so that's all we have for you with bike pumps today. We hope that you enjoyed it and we hope that we answered all of your questions. Happy pumping and happy riding.